If you are not yet taking advantage of free Cloudflare plan and their amazing content delivery network, then by the end of this video, you will. We will make it fast, so buckle up and pause if needed. In a nutshell, why do you need Cloudflare? They have a lot of features. All of them are tied to making your website faster and more reliable. I have another video about Cloudflare with more feature breakdown. So let's dive into it. First thing first, before you connect the Cloudflare, you need a domain. If you don't have a domain, I highly recommend buying it on hostinger.com. I have another video about Hostinger. I already have my domain in here. All you need to make sure is that you have access to the name service and the DNS of this domain. Let's go back to the Cloudflare. Now, within the Cloudflare, we need to create a new account. Let's go to sign up, type in your email and create a password in here and click sign up. It will send you to the screen. In here, we click the first option. We want to accelerate and protect our website. In here, we type our domain name. This is the one that you already bought and we click add site. A lot of people get confused in here because they see all of these plans. You need to scroll down and click free and click continue. After that, Cloudflare will scan your DNS records and it will copy them automatically. So it makes your job much, much easier. All you need to do is to double check if you want to change any of these records. If everything looks good to you, then click continue. And now Cloudflare will ask you to replace your NS records. So you need to copy these values, go to your domain settings, go to change name server. So here is how it looks for me. It can look a little bit different for you. For example, with uh, GoDaddy, it's in the very bottom. Click uh, change name servers and then you in put your name service. As you can see, it preloaded my current ones. So I just replaced them one and then the second one safe. What it will do, it will now suspend the current DNS records and they will be moved to the cloud. Now we need to click done, check name servers. And after that, we'll go through a quick uh, start guide by Cloudflare. Depending on the use of your domain, you either want or don't want this feature. So it will automatically rewrite all of the HTTP requests as HTTPS. So all of them will be secure. I recommend it. So I will go with that. Another thing that Cloudflare will recommend you is to always use a HTTPS. So especially if you have an e-com or something like that, I would recommend that as well. So I will click that as well. If you chose the options above and you are using HTTPS request, this feature will really help you. So by default, this broadly feature will increase the speed of your website for HTTPS requests. So I will choose that as um, click on. So let's save. And now let's finish. Once that's done, this is what you are going to see. They will ask you to double check if you replace the name service. If you already did that and you know that, go here and click back name servers. And in here you will see that it checking the name servers for my domain. It says here to wait a few hours, but usually it takes minutes. It took three minutes for me and uh, our DNS is already pointed in here within the Cloudflare. Let's navigate to the DNS settings. Let's double check. Let's make sure everything works in here. Now, what you want to do is to want to check your website and make sure that everything fires properly in there. Yeah, as I can see, everything works in here and SSL certificate is already working. It was working with the Hostinger as well. But by this point of time, Cloudflare should also initiate its own SSL certificate to protect your website. So it should be firing as well. So here is a quick check to make sure that HTTP to HTTPS redirect is working properly. So we type it manually HTTP and our domain and click enter and it should open our main domain, which is good. Just like that, your website now is protected by Cloudflare and is being served using its CDN, which is content delivery network. As I mentioned, Cloudflare has much more features and I have a video about them. So please make sure to watch that if you're interested. And if you have any questions regarding any of the steps we took in this video, please make sure to comment them below. I will answer them as soon as possible. For more useful content like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and give a like to this video so other people will be able to find it as well. Have a great day. Bye.